Mike Florio believes that the Steelers are about to play the waiting game when it comes to this Cooper Cup trade. The Steelers are fascinating to me because they like to lurk. They like to hover. They like to wait to swoop in and get a bargain. And they're not going to go too quickly. No sudden moves. They don't like to be perceived as being desperate in a situation like that. And if it means they don't get the guy, so be it. I hope not. Uh, Not for too long. I feel like my reaction and our reaction to this Cooper Cup trade is going to be hindsight 2020 no matter what. Because if we do play this waiting game and we end up getting Cooper Cup for maybe a third round pick, then I'll be pumped. Omar Khan never never takes a bad deal, right? And this would be another example of that. But if we wait too long and Cooper Cup goes to the Ravens, goes to the Lions, goes to any other team outside of the Steelers for, let's just say it's a reasonable price that we could afford, maybe it's that second round pick that the Rams are looking for, then I'm not going to be too happy because we've already missed out on DeAndre Hopkins for a fifth round pick and Amari Cooper for a third round pick. And the Bills, I think, are only paying him like 800000 this season. Yeah, he's on an expiring contract, but man, that's, I think that's a steal. That would have been perfect for us. So we already missed out on two really affordable receivers that would have fit the system, would have fit everything that we're trying to do here. And now you got a Cooper Cup that's out there. I, I think Cooper Cup being there is like a, a gift from God right now because of us missing out on Ayuk, Devontae Adams, and Hopkins and Cooper. You would think that the wide receiver market and who's available for trade would wouldn't be too much. It'd be a tier below. But there's still one guy out there, and his name is Cooper Cup, of that elite caliber. We got to make this move, man. We we can't be waiting too long. Now, the Rams are playing this interesting game with having Cooper Cup actually play tonight. They've been out there talking to teams and, in a way, shopping him. I don't know if it's the smartest move. If you If you're really, really set on trading him, He shouldn't be playing tonight, but that also makes me wonder and why this is a curious decision. If the Rams win and Cooper Cup plays good, they're sitting at three and four. The NFC West is kind of up for grabs with the with the Niners uh, shit in the bed recently, and then also the Seahawks. They're in first place. They're only at four and three. It's not like they'd be too far away from the Rams sitting at three and four. So I think uh, this Cooper Cup saga is dependent on a lot of things right now. And part of it is just if the Rams keep losing or if they win this game and start to get back on track, they might keep Cooper Cup because we know the connection that Cup has with a Matt Stafford. And when you have a McVay, you have that structure that they've had in place with him. You probably never think you're completely out of it, especially if you got that three and four record and top of the division is only at four and three. Different story. You lose. You're at two and five. Maybe you lose next week. Two and six. But they're playing a little bit of a dangerous game with Cooper Cup being out there. If they are set on trading him. If they're not, if they're still open minded, want to see what the team does tonight, then yeah, I guess you have them out there and try your best to win the game and get back in the division race. But I hope the Steelers, if we're serious. And we should be serious because we've been interested in a top caliber receiver the whole off season and even six weeks through this regular season. We're still talking about it. If we're serious, man. Cooper Cup's the guy. Even Gronk agrees. Steelers? Would you rather see him as a commander or a steel? Like, which, which would be a, 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 I know. Steelers is good. I like the Steelers. You know, I, I went to school in Pittsburgh my senior year in high school, so I know what it's like to be you know, part of that Steeler nation. I understand, you know, what Pittsburgh, you know, what the Steelers mean to the city of Pittsburgh. And if they got, you know, Cooper Cup, let me tell you, with Russell Wilson playing the way he did, throwing that ball up, lobbing it, you know, up to make a catchable ball for his receivers to go make a play, I feel like that would, you know, boost the Steelers. And I think it would be the best fit as well. You're right. The Steelers, if they can grab him, oh, let me tell you, Steeler nation would be going nuts. Last thing, though, and sticking with receiver. Saw an interesting report from Mark Caboli recently 
where he said whenever he watches practice, Roman Wilson looks like a top three weapon, top three receiver out there. Looks better than Van Jefferson. Looks better than Scotty Miller. Looks better than Calvin Austin. So what's going on, man? He's been healthy for a month. I know the hamstring injury popped up last week, but Tomlin even said in his press conference that the hamstring injury isn't the thing that kept Roman Wilson out. It was the fact that he had the hamstring injury and missed practice. It was more of the him missing practice that kept him out last week. That's the other question. Like, does the hamstring injury all of a sudden become better within the course of a day or two? So, like, I don't know what's really going on and why Roman Wilson isn't out there, but I'm not really surprised by Kaboli's report here because weren't we hearing the exact same things about Roman Wilson going back to OTAs and all throughout the offseason that every time he's out there, it looks like he's going to have a significant role and he's balling out and looks like he's already ahead of, a cur- ahead of the curve being the rookie receiver that he is. I don't know why he ain't playing. Is it, is it the playbook? He's not familiar with the play. I don't know. I have no clue because that would probably be the best guess at this point because if he's looking good at practice, he's looking the part, looking like the third-round pick. I mean, he should have been a second-round pick last year, looking like the, the talented guy that we drafted. If he's looking like that, what's the holdup? I just did the whole first segment talking about how the Steelers need to trade for a receiver like Cooper Cup, and we've been belaboring the point that the Steelers could use an upgrade at the position outside of George Pickens, like for how long? And then you got a Roman Wilson just chilling there, and we don't we don't throw him out there to see what he's got. Now we did a couple weeks ago, but he only played five snaps and no targets. It was like five snaps. I don't know exactly how many snaps it wasn't many. Looked invisible out there. So I, don't, I really don't know what's going on with this, man. What's your guy's best guess? Because I feel like if he's looking good in practice, he's healthy, it would have to just be the familiarity with the playbook and knowing what exactly he's supposed to do when he's out there in terms of route running and the distances of the route, maybe some of the blocking, because we talk about receiver blocking too and how – That's a nice addition to this offense and how uh, it's a key part. Roman Wilson was a really good blocker back in Michigan. Very willing participant in blocking. You you mean to tell me he wouldn't be better than a Calvin Austin? Maybe better than a Van Jefferson, Scotty Miller? On top of the talent that he does have, the 4-4 speed, the route running. I don't know what the holdup is. Maybe after the bye? Are we just going to wait after the bye? I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm not surprised by the report, but then I'm just makes me wonder even more why Roman Wilson isn't out there. Because we had a Troy Fowler Tanu play and start week two, and that was him missing uh, like about what three weeks, four weeks after he got injured in the preseason game. Came back to practice the week before, and then he's starting. Roman Wilson has been back at practice and healthy for the last three or four weeks. Now, maybe the offensive line and what you need to know versus receiver is different and what and just the roles with the playbook and all that. But still, bro, it's not like we haven't played rookies recently. Pickens, right off the bat, week one, he was out there. Um, Fautanu, example right there. Najee Harris. He was out there. Kenny Pickett in his rookie season, the the most important position on the field, three and a half weeks in, put him out there. So who knows, man? Who knows? Zach Frazier, he started at center this year. Devin Bush, he was starting day one. So we haven't been that old school in terms of rookie snaps. Kendrick Green, like, my God, Kendrick Green. Started his rookie year. Third round pick. My God. (laughs) Dan Moore. He started his rookie year. Fourth round pick. So what's going on with Roman Wilson? I don't know, man. I don't know. Give me your best guess down in the comments. But that's it for today's show. Hope you guys enjoyed. Stay chilling. Here we go, Steelers. Peace.